So as I mentioned in the last video, um, you just need to enslave one person and this dialogue option comes up. Uh, something I forgot to mention in the previous videos that I might put in sure. either the Steam Guide or I might like add in an annotation is that you need to return to Grouse after every single capture because he only gives you one fucking slave caller at a time, which is super annoying. Also, in case you're wondering, why are my loading screens from Fallout New Vegas? That's because this isn't actually Fallout 3, this is a Tale of Two Wastelands, and it's a fantastic mod, albeit extremely outdated, and they made some pointless changes to the games, like, to the game, like, making the, um, the, what do you call them, the Blobbringer out, the regulators, extremely fucking annoying to deal with, and making, uh, they added new sound effects for reloading some of the guns for some reason. I don't know why you would do that, because those sound effects are, like, every weapon mod with custom sound effects in a Fallout game really odd and out of place sounding. Anyway, so this time we're doing Susan Lancaster. She's... I'm tempted to say easy, but no. Um, we're coming here at night. You want to come here at night. Specifically because Susan can be found in her room. Um, thank you. Now the thing is, this guard here is a cunt. So is Susan Lancaster. She's also a bit of a bitch. When you enslave her, she's gonna come out of here flailing her arms in the air screaming, Help! Help! Assault! Assault! Even though she's got a bomb collar around her neck. Which will tip this Hello, club of logs off. And it will make everyone in the tower violently upset with you. So you're really, unlike Red and Flack, who can theoretically be enslaved without alerting the entire city to the fact that you just enslaved someone, Susan can't really. Uh, one thing I should mention is I believe that if you do become hostile to a faction in Fallout 3, I believe the guards have like a three day cooldown before they will stop shooting at you. So if you can escape without killing anyone after you enslave Susan, you can just hide out for a few days and then come back and you'll be good. But I'm going to show you my method. So, pop Susan with the measure. Who are you again? She's going to talk to you. You're gonna, well, you're going to talk to her. You're going to tell her. Put the collar okay. on. Okay. Hey, hey, this thing feels weird. Can I take it off now? And you're gonna tell her to move. The slavers? I I'm a slave? How did this happen? So Susan's gonna run out of here. What the hell? Opening fire! As you can see she's gonna upset everyone. Whoa. What's... Whoa. What? Whoa. Is it me? I... Watch out! Yeah, you can mez the guard, but... It doesn't from... really help. I do enjoy a good row. Leave me alone, ten ten you cool, man. Yeah. As you see, just start shooting. Ignore them. I've got the matter, huh? I can't I can stand the sight of your kind of out of here. There's more when I stop game, tripping right? balls on the thing that is supposed to make me stop tripping balls on the medic syringe I took last episode. That would be fucking beautiful. But yeah. They won't follow you beyond the border of the property, so you are you're fine. I should mention in order to get into Ten Penny Tower you do need to do you, you need to either well, you don't actually need to really do anything, I think, to get a 10 penny tower. But I did blow up Megaton, so there's that. Yeah, I have neutral karma and I blow up Megaton, amazing, ain't it? Although I guess now I probably have evil karma, because I'm so stupid. But yeah, now we got Susan Lancaster, and now we just gotta fast travel back to Goose, and get another caller, and in the next video we will definitely be doing Red, because Red is marginally more complicated than all the others, and because I really don't want to go to Rivet City, I really don't.